want to talk to you about a little project that we're working on here. This is um, a really fun one. This is by composer John Sathis, and it was a fanfare that he wrote for um, the Auckland Philharmonia Orchestra just as we came out of our first lockdown. Let's hope it ages well. Um, and it was great. So basically, John writes um, through his computer program and creates all these audio sounds. He sends me the audio sounds and says, all right, what's your best way to replicate this acoustically? Which is super fun and I love doing. Um, I don't have all the instruments here. We're actually packing up to take it down to a recording session tomorrow. But I thought I'd show you uh, my part. And um, basically, we start off with a big bass drum here on its side. Then we have literally a giant oil drum. Luckily, Shane had an oil drum in his garage, um, which is really cool. It's quite an industrial feel going on, eh? And then we've got a um, really dead kick drum. Next is sort of this gong sound that was pretty, pretty cool. Um, and I basically just got a, a Chinese gong on top of a um, Chinese opera gong on top of some uh, foam here. <laughs> That's my spot, as you see, X marks the spot right there. That's where you want to hit it. Um, but I'm sort of debating between that and we've got this quite a cool, unique, like um, it's a big pot for cooking and it's got a, quite a, a unique sound in itself. So I might set both those up tomorrow in the recording and see how they go. Um, also, we've got a stacked china. This is an upside down china and I've stacked a splash inside of it. Probably tighten it up just a little bit. Doesn't necessarily need to be that fuzzy. Um, and then I've got an open hi hat here. It gets that. Uh, one of the other unique things that we had in this, it was this amazing sound um, that that John had in his recording. And the best way I could replicate it was through some garage door springs. I don't know if you can hear that, but these are suspended garage door springs. I'm going to play them with a giant metal rod. It's really cool. So hopefully um, we'll put out the video of this recording so you get to hear this all in context. But I'll play it for you and you give it a go and just check it out. It's a fun project. Thanks, John. Talk to you later. See ya.